Okay, so we've just returned from gathering our specimens from the stream bottom. And the first thing we're going to do is decant what we collected out there through this bucket sieve, which is a 400 micron sieve, into this other bucket, which has been cleaned. What this is going to do is certainly just reduce the amount of water we have to deal with, yet make sure that we still have all of our critters in here. So I can see a lot of them swimming around in there. Need a little bit more in here just to wash it out. Obviously we'll wash that through the through that sieve also. We do that until we don't see any more critters left in the bucket. So now all of our collected is in here. We can see several things swimming around. All right, now that we have our critters all in the little bucket sieve here, we've added some water to this dish pan. And we're going to wash all of those out into the bucket, making sure we don't leave any little guys in here. stuck to the net right there. There we go, we got him. And there's one holding on for dear life. Okay, so we've got some water in there, we've got our spray bottle, we've cleaned out the sieve, and we're ready to start separating all of these little guys into categories, usually the class of insect that they're from. We're going to put each different class in one of the uh, compartments in the ice cube tray here. And for the very small ones, we're going to use this little bulb dropper here. Okay, so we're going to wear this on our head. So that we can see a little better, especially those of us with older eyes. And we're going to begin to grab each of these little guys in here. We're going to put, that's a mayfly larva, so we're going to put it in one of those compartments. Now we've got a, There's a little caddis fly, so he goes in a different one. So caddis flies are over here, mayflies in that one. Now we've got a creeping water bug. He's pretty interesting. So we're going to pick him up with our tweezers. Doesn't want to come. There he is right there. A little creeping water bug. We'll give him a little water with our dropper. Keep them alive, keep them happy. Didn't get washed out, there it goes. So it often helps just to let them sink to the bottom of whichever dripper you're using and then squirt them out uh, down below. Getting to be some pretty good sized mayfly larvae getting later in the season. Later on there'll be, see that one's big enough to, to see easily. Look at this big guy here. So here is a stonefly. Not that common in here. It's a nice one though. Look at him. So he gets his own little compartment. Some water. Keep him, keep him happy. Who are you? A little beetle. Who I don't know, there's two of them. I'll be done. So they get their own compartment. It's a tiny, tiny little black beetle. 
get this these clumps washed off as much as we can before we discard them back into the river. We'll put them in that bucket for now. Okay, we're almost done uh, grabbing everything we can grab out of here. A few little bitty guys, mayflies. Indications are really good here. We don't have many of those species that indicate poor water quality, and we have a lot of species that indicate good water quality. There's another little black beetle. I'll be darned. We're going to reserve one of the uh, cubicles in the ice cube tray for just unidentifieds, guys we're not quite sure of. Those stick too, we can do this. Just take that off and squirt them out down to the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna take this water and dump it back in the river in case there's any little critters left in it. Okay, the next job is to count all the critters in each of the cubicles and mark them here on our chart. So we're going to start with the mayflies. This probe sometimes helps just to separate them and count them as you go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Twelve mayflies. We'll mark that. Five caddisflies in that building. We'll write that down too. We have one, two, three, four stoneflies. We'll put those guys here. We have three, four, five black beetles. That's just what we'll put here until we know what they are. Before we take these and put them back in the river, we're going to preserve one of each of the unique things that we got uh, in this ethanol. And we'll keep those for voucher samples. So there's our large stone fly. Put him in there. Creeping water bug. I'm going to get a couple of these mayflies. 